So a while ago, my brother told me to read Makes Me Wanna Holler by Nathan McCall, and I didn't get to it, and I didn't get to it, and finally last month I set it up as one of the books that I was going to read to fulfill my non-YA adult section of my book gap challenge, and I read it, and it was awesome, and I don't have it to show to you because I was talking to one of my friends about it and I gave it to her. But needless to say, this is book gap challenge update number five. I am the supplier. So for me, Makes Me Wanna Holler was a text that provided context for a lot of the things that my dad told me when I was a kid. Um, I think that my parents probably graduated from high school, what, a year after McCall did? So the political climate was the same as the political climate McCall was in, and the, the, the racial relationships that they had to deal with, even though they lived in different parts of the country, would have been fairly similar. So the, the thing that my dad always told me when I was a kid um, was that me and my siblings and all of the African-American students had to be twice as good to get half as much. Which I understood in a theoretical sense, but I never really had any concrete evidence to explain why he told us that. I just worked really hard because he told me to. So after reading McCall's story and how he was treated when he went to the all-white school um, across town, and how he was treated when he moved back to the middle school on his side of town by both teachers and classmates, I started to, you know, really understand what that was about. But the part of the book that really struck me as a teacher was a conversation that McCall had with another inmate while he was in jail about rehabilitation. And the idea is that the prison system is going to rehabilitate the, its inmates. Except that it presumes that they've been habilitated or made capable in the first place. And that was something that I'd never really thought about before, about making people capable of, of doing what? Of being productive members of society, of being educated in terms of whoever decided what education means and what we should learn. Or, you know, how to get by and not work other people over. So, as a teacher I find this idea of habilitation problematic, sort of, and frustrating, because I think part of the climate in the United States right now in terms of education has to do with Teachers not only being responsible for, you know, disseminating whatever information people decide is important, but also to be the people who habilitate the students. That isn't to say... I find this problematic, at least in terms of some of the interactions I've had with students, is because it's not... It's, it's like it's not happening at home. Like, I remember, if I got in trouble at school, well, I didn't get in trouble at school, but I was afraid that if I did get in trouble at school, then, you know, I'd get in twice as much trouble when I got home, and my hide would be tanned, and I would learn not to do said things and treat people certain ways. But I don't see that now. And I don't know if it's the proliferation of mobile technologies and the fact that they are always connected and have found other avenues to hurt each other, or if it's because there's not enough, at least in my town, and not enough stimulation and not enough things that they are interested in they don't know how to find out what they're interested in that gets them all in trouble. And part of this comes from the fact that my best friend works with students who are incarcerated currently. And, you know, these are kids that came through our middle school that she saw in the library and that I saw in class. And we have this profound sense of failure when our students end up there. It's like, what what could we have done different? Or or what could have changed in, in, in that kid's life so that they would not end up where they are right now? And... I don't know. How do... How do we habilitate these kids? You know? And it's like, I was like, profound slowdown. How do we, how do we habilitate these kids and how do we make them care and how can we guide them to see beyond the end of their nose, see beyond the instant gratification that they've learned from having such access? And I don't know. I've been teaching for seven years, and I don't know. And I'm going to end it there, because... 
It's a tough question to answer, and it's one I've been thinking about for a while now. And I wish I had the answers, but I don't. So, if you have the opportunity to read Makes Me Wanna Holler by Nathan McCall, I would. And uh, that's, that's going to be it for me today. I am the supplier wishing you happy reading. Don't forget to be awesome.